What is up, you guys? It's Violet Taylor here, and welcome back to Let's Catch a Vibe. Now, I hope everyone's feeling great, feeling amazing, feeling vibey. As you guys can see, this is the item shop switch over from Saturday night, the seventh. Sorry, Saturday night, the sixth of April, into the early Sunday morning of the seventh of April, part two. Now, as you guys can see, we have a brand new skin. Now, I'm probably going to butcher this. I'm assuming their name is Hale, I think. But anyway, jumping straight in, we have Strike Without Warning. Part of the Turbulent Sky set, first introduced, the OG, uh, first introduced in the OG season, chapter 5, season 2, which is literally what we are on now. I don't know why I said OG season, it just felt like what I was going to say. Anyway, really, really cool skin. Again, I'm assuming it's a guy, I'm assuming. Moving us on to the Lego style, again, looks pretty much one-to-one. -one. Um, really, really cool. So yeah, there's nothing really else that comes with this. Um, we do have the return of the stoic Imagine Dragons icon series emote. It is synchronized, so you will pretty much um, have other members of your squad um, playing different instruments. Moving us on to the pin bolt wrap, which I'm assuming is part of the hail um, set. Anyway, we have the pin bolt. Now, it is reactive, but as you guys can see, I can cycle through various different weapon models that you guys can see on screen here. And uh, overall, it, it looks all right. It's not, 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 not terrible it's not absolutely exciting but it looks all right it's, it's not bad it's not bad so i'm assuming when it's reactive we will get those um what you call like little badges appear on the uh, wrap i couldn't activate it um the wrap itself so i'm assuming we'll get those when we find the weapon moving us under the dripping flavor emote mm, part of the two scoop set first introduced in chapter three season three Moving us on to the return of the Colour Crush skin from what I like to call the tie dye set. Really, really cool skin. We got the Colour Crush skin. Again, you guys know you can pretty much create your own um, designs on this. Again, we get various different patterns. I'm just going to quickly go through some of these just in case you guys didn't know. But yeah, overall, pretty damn cool. But uh, yeah, moving us on, we get the tie dye, uh, or sorry, the Colour Crush Lego skin, which mwah, looks absolutely badass. Moving us on to the return of the Isabel skin. We don't really need to go into Isabel because everybody knows about Isabel by now. But really, really cool skin. We also have the return of the Tsuki skin. Tsuki, unpredictable and unforgiving. Part of the Qatar Tech set, first introduced in the OG Season 9. Again, we've got the what I like to call the Alita Battle Angel style. And then we have the alternate, which is the human style for her. Moving us on to the Lego style. I believe this is the first time I've ever seen the Lego style for Tsuki. I'm not too sure. I think it is the first time. Looks amazing. Moving us on to the Tahana Backbling on the edge. And what do I always say? Why would you not want a Katana as a Backbling? Moving us on to the, the male skin, the Copper Wasp. Karate master known for his vicious sting. Part of the Qatar set. Yeah, part of the Qatar tech. Set first introduced in OG Season 9. Can't get my words out, but that's nothing new. Really, really cool skin. Moving us on to the Copper Wasp Lego Star. Now, this is the first time I've seen this. Whoa, whoa. it looks amazing. Moving us on to the back bling, we have the Striped Stalker. Ready to pounce. Again, mwah. really, really cool. Love this. Why would you not want to take your nunchucks from a tiger's mouth? Moving us on to the harvesting tool, we have the Power Punch. Overload them. Let's see this swing animation. Nice. Moving us on to the Sting of Wrap. Now, it isn't animated or reactive, but it is very, very cool. As you guys can see, I can cycle through various different weapon models that you guys can see on screen here. Looks amazing. Moving us on to the Zero skin, we have the legendary Zero. Everything and nothing. Part of the Zero Point set, first introduced in Chapter 2, Season 1. Moving us on to the Zero Lego style, which looks... So I'm not going to lie, this looks absolutely amazing. Yo, this looks amazing. Moving us on to the legendary Black Hole Bat Bling, we have one single, well, sorry, one singularity sensation. Oh, man. I, I, remember, I remember like it was just yesterday, we were staring at this, waiting for Chapter 2, Season 2. Moving us on to the wrap, we have the Zero Point Wrap. Now, as you guys can see, it's animated over the entire weapon. It's got that kind of vortex style to it but as you guys can see i can cycle through various different whip models that you guys can see on screen here then we're going to swiftly on to the return of the dream bundle a nice really really cool bundle i have already covered this in its own is it, is it not worth it bundle video but it is a really really cool bundle to get 
Moving us on to the return of the reigning doubloons from last night. We have the reigning doubloons, make it rain gold. Now this is in a new emote, it's returned to coincide with the return, or oh, sorry, in the introduction of the brand new Stygian Boltman bundle. If you guys want it is or is it not worth it bundle video, I have put this up on my TikTok and YouTube, so check that out. Moving us on to Moving us on to the return of the breaking point emote. Give him a break. Again, I don't know why you would want to do that, but apparently people want to break people. Moving us on to the return of the toxic trooper and the hazard agent. Moving us on to the toxic trooper, we have Dominate the Hot Zone. Part of the Outbreak set, first introduced in OG Season 4. These must be rare skins, because I've never really seen anybody on the map with these skins. Not that I can think of. I mean, unless it's what, you know, someone you've sniped from like, long distance, you know what I mean? Anyway, we've got the default style. We then have the yellow style, which is very, very cool. Moving us on to the Toxic Trooper Lego style, which looks very, very cool, even though his helmet kind of looks like a rating helmet now, but we move. Moving us on to the back bling, we have the pathogen. Pleasantly pathological. Again, we've got the default here. We then also have the alternate, which is the yellow. Moving us on to the female, we have the hazard agent. Warning, hazardous. Again, very, very cool. So we've got like a teal green style. We then have a yellow style, which is very, very cool. Mm. It's kind of mad actually they're putting these back in the in the um, item shop, especially with the words like hazardous and outbreak. That's why they didn't put the old. That's why they didn't put the doctor skin in Fortnite because of obviously you know the outbreak that we had a couple of years ago. I'm not going to mention it because you can get demonetized for that. Anyway, we have the hazard age Lego style, which again looks very very cool. I don't know what they were going for for the base design because it's literally just a black face. <laughs> but it is what it is. Remember this under the back bling, we have the Contagion. Infectiously stylish. So we've got the default again. We then have the ultimate, which is the yellow. Remember this onto the auto cleave harvesting tool. We have the auto cleave. Clean out the competition. Let's see this for animation. Oof, don't want to get hit with this. But last but not least, we have the meltdown glider. Fall out of the battle bus with confidence. Oh, I love the fact that it plays that like radiation sound, which is very, very cool. Moving us swiftly onto the Trailblazers for tonight. We've got the Athena skin. We've got the Opal skin. We've got the Synapse skin. We've got the Slugger. And then we've got the Home Run Glider. Do -do 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 -do. Moving us onto the Jam Tracks. No new ones of those tonight, but they are pretty, pretty stacked. We've got Lady Gaga still with us. The game of festival we've got the lego kits we've got the special offers of bundles we've got the fortnite flow so we start ourselves with the start of the emote get this thing rolling hopefully i don't get demonetized we've got the hooray hands in the air like you really don't care we've got the you're a winner victory was inevitable we've got gangnam style pony up and ride and then last one at least, we have Goatee of all time. Please don't let me get demonetized for that because that is a sure sign to get copyrighted. Anyway, we still have the Bandari to exit Locker Bundle in the um, Lantern Fest. We have the Start Your Engines, we can do here, but we do have some accessories. We've got the Pass to Fortnite crew. And then last but not least, we have the Guardians of the Globe Bundle and the Gear Bundle still with us. Now, Stay tuned, like I said in my first item shop video, stay tuned for my season two, um, part two review of um, Invincible. Um, really, really cool. I definitely talk about those Easter eggs, so check out my video on TikTok. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed tonight's video. Again, this is part two of part one of the item shop tonight. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button. If you didn't enjoy the video, let me know in the comments down below why you didn't like the video. Also, let me know which is your favorite item and bundle that is returned to the item shop. And which item are you looking to return real soon? But anyway, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new and join in. Let's catch a vibe. Also, if you are new, please don't forget to push the bell notifications to get no further streams upload. But more importantly, don't forget to stay with me and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.